In this video, we will be uh, trying to see how we can able to program our 8051 microcontroller with Kyle Microvision C51 simulation software. So first we have to uh, start with the step of downloading the software and installing it in our PC. And after that, we will try to see how the same thing can be used for our programming purpose. So first, uh, the link for your downloading software is provided here. It is also there in the description. You can make use of that one. And directly clicking on it, it is going to get its software page. So you can able to go to that page and you can able to see we are having several uh, software packages available, MDK, C251, C51, C116, all those things are available. The thing which we need to download is going to be your uh, C51. So we can able to click on it and it is going to move to your new page so that it is going to have this .exe file C51v961 which is released on December 19, 2022. So I can click on it. That will start its download. So I have already downloaded these things and kept it ready. So we can avoid the time duration for downloading. I can directly click on the downloaded file and I can able to look on how uh, I can able to use the same for uh, So it is going to look for your uh, KLC51 microvision. Next, agreement. Next. So it will look, ask for your location. You can able to give it. So these are the details which you want to give. First name, last name, company name, and email ID. All those things you can able to give. And if you are proceeding with clicking next, it will install your uh, KL microvision C51. So I have already installed and kept it ready. So I can move to that directly to that one. So while you are seeing our uh, desktop, I have already having the software which is installed ready. So after installation, you can able to see this uh, shortcut in desktop. So after this one, uh, so installation is done. And after that, what are the things we have to do to program? So first, from opening of software, I am having uh, given the steps here. So first, I will do the steps one by one. Uh, you will also, uh, I will also try to do the same in software also. So we just keep this uh, screenshot nearby you and you can able to uh, do the same thing uh, as in the video. So first, we have to create a uh, new microvision project. So uh, I will directly move to the software. I have not opened. Okay. So I can open the file, Kale Microvision. It will start its functioning. So this is the box which is going to be displayed in front of you when you are opening the software. After that one, you will be seeing file, edit, project, all those things. First, we have to create our project. So click on this project. So there will be an option for uh, new Microvision project. Click on new microvision project. So after that, you have to give a file name for that one. So it should not be having any extension. So the same thing I have given in description also. So new microvision, enter the file name without any extensions, example sample. Right? So I will use the same file name for my uh, file creation sample. I have saved it. So while saving, it is asked for which device we are going to configure it. So we have to type the device uh, specification so that it is going to have its uh, selection. AT89 C51 CD2. So we have already seen here. So you can able to type and you can able to see. It is going to be uh, coming into the category of microchip. You can select this one so that uh, compatibility and other things is going to be displayed here and I can able to click OK. So if this is not available for you, if there is some other page which is being uh, displayed here because of uh, previous uh, versions or you have already installed your uh, MDK software uh, and other things, it, it may be looking little more different. So if it is li little more different, select the software package. In that, click on LLC Legacy. So after clicking LLC Legacy, you can able to search for the same uh, name and you can able to select that one. So I can able to click on OK. 
So and dialog box appears. Copy startup dot a fifty one project folder and add file to the project. So here you have to click no. So we will see when we have to click yes when you are moving to the ARM processor. So now as of now, click no. So with this, uh, the steps are getting completed. You can able to see that. So search for this microchip, and after that, in some cases, you have to check for software package, and after that, you have to click on LLC legacy, and after that, search for the same chip. So after that, you have to select it, select OK, and after that, you have to press No, right? So that is the thing which we have already done. So with the same uh, view, we can able to jump to the next section also. So after that, we have to create a new file, and we have to create the file name, and after that. Uh, we have to include few other things, so just you can able to keep it for your reference. But I will show in real uh, time itself. So first, we have to create your new file. So I am going to create my new file. So if you want to reset the things to default, so always try to go to Windows and reset view to default, and after that you can able to reset it. So that it will have an project which is going to be having with the name sample, and after that. Target file is getting created here, so we can able to see all these things in the default page. So after that one, uh, what are the things we want to uh, provide here? So I can able to uh, make an uh, type my program whichever I want to have here. So I can able to start with org zero 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 h. Then after that, I can able to move the value uh, the counter a like. Can able to uh, make it within terms of that also for better clarity. So move a comma. So if you want to give an data, we have to use the symbol hash. So I can able to give zero three h inside my a, which is going to be my register. And after that, add a comma hash. Zero two. So I have typed the program and kept it ready. And after that, I have to give end here. So eight zero eight six. While you are seeing the previous videos, uh, ORGs will be available in your EMU software, and it is going to be ended with halt. Here it is going to be end. So this this is how I have to type my program. So if you want to uh, annotate these things, you can able to give you a semicolon also, which means beyond that it will not take it. So you can able to type whatever you want for your clarity. So move. Value zero three to a register. So like this, I can able to type it for my reference and keep it ready. So I can able to do all these things, and I can able to uh, after uh, finding this one, I have to save the file. So if I want to save the file, you have to press on save. So if you are clicking on save, and pop up will come. So at this point of time, you have to give the same file name, sample. Dot asm. Previously, it is very uh, just a sample. Here it is going to be sample. Dot asm. So asm extension. So after that, you can able to save the file, and you can able to see the colors are getting changed here, which means it is going to be in ASM file. It is uh, analyzing all those things. It is in ASM format, and after that, it is going to uh, correlate with already existing chip which is getting selected, and it is going to show the different colors here. So after uh, saving the file, you have to click on plus near the target, and after that, you will be having a source group. In that source group, you have to create and uh, right click on it. Add existing file to group. You have to click on it. After that, you have to take it your uh, file which has been generated. Sample one dot asm. It's already there, right? So you can able to click on it. If it is not visible, uh, click this one. Select all files. At the time, sample dot asm will be visible. So you have to select add it. After adding, just close it. So after and plus symbol is going to emerge here. If you are going to click on this plus, you can able to see sample dot asm is getting added inside your source group one. So this has been added and everything is ready for our execution. So now what are the things you want to make sure? So whether your source group is having this sample dot asm and the colors has been changed, all those things we can able to verify it. 
and after that uh, the things we are going to uh, check everything is done so after that you have to click on save all so this is in this slide so create a new file enter the file name with asm extension example sample.asm click on plus symbol near the target folder and after that right click on source group add existing files to the group so uh, you have to click on uh, sorry so here right clicking it and after that you have to select the option of add existing files to the group and after that select the created asm file sample.asm is i have created and after that you have to click on add after that you have to click on close after completion check whether the source group is having the created file and after that press save all so this is completed so your file is being created and after that you have to move to the next step so now it is ready the file is ready so i am having uh, three uh, things here which is going to be translate and after that it is going to be build and after that it is going to be rebuild so whenever i am going to click my translate it is going to uh, compile the program assembly so it is going to say whether there is an error in my program or not i don't have any errors here so that is good so after that one uh, if i want to uh, move to the next one so i can able to create an uh, thing in terms of your build so click on your build f7 so it will create its object file and it is going to be placed in the location whichever uh, we have created and after that one rebuild option will be there click on rebuild so rebuild option also will be uh, rebuilding the target and after that you can able to complete our execution so now we have to see the result of our execution for that there is an debug button which is available here click on this debug button it's an evaluation mode which can able to have the size of 2k click on okay so you can able to see the registers and a register <coughs> a register b register in system after that we are having a register bank so all these things we will see in theory classes so after that one uh, we can able to run it so we can able to run all the instructions in the same way same uh, click by having this run <coughs> i'm sorry so for for having this run f5 or i can able to execute it step by step so i am executing step by step so a is getting the value of 03 and after that 2 is added to my existing value of 3 so total we are having 05 so this is clear for us so if i want to make any changes like if i have to move this values to memory so i can able to add a command move 20h comma i which is going to move the value of a to the memory location 20h so if i am making any modification you have to come out of this debug option and after that i have to save it translate build rebuild and after that you can able to click on debug option so after that one we can able to see uh, the things and register things are ready so i can able to run 03 in a 05 in a so after that it has been moved to 20h address of 20h so where i have to see my memory data so i have to click on my view in that there is a memory window so in the memory window you can able to click on memory 1 so it has been already selected now i have deselected so i can able to click on view again so memory window select my memory so my memory window is present here so in this i have given the location of 20h right so here it is going to be uh, location of data so your 8051 is going to uh, follow your hardware architecture so we are having separate memory for data and separate memory for program so it is going to be your data memory so d so d colon so whatever space you have used 20h right you can click on enter so the value 05 which is created by us by the execution of the program is present in my memory address of 20
so like this i can able to write my program and i can able to uh, run this program and i can able to see how it is going to be working in terms of 8051 so in next video we will try to understand how to create an hex file and how we can able to uh, move that file to 8051 and how this uh, program which is created from kail can be moved to your 8051 and it is getting executed as of now we just try to understand these things and we can able to proceed with our uh, programming strategy so with this introduction we will try to see a pro, uh, few programs how to do in kail itself in uh, videos and after that we will try to move to uh, real time simulation uh, real time execution of your program in 805 so the same thing is given here so translate build all those things we have already done so if you want to uh, view on memory space click on view select memory 1 type d address space plus h which is going to be d colon 20h so i can able to give this directly and i can able to uh, make use of it for my viewing the uh, register data in my address and all the things inverse is also possible so with this you just try to do some program for moving the values from register to register memory to register register to memory all those things and try to give it in chat so that i can able to understand how much deep you can able to understand these concepts in kail and with the help of uh, programming in 8051 thank you for your patient listening